Understanding your financial health, navigating the debt-to-income ratio. The debt-to-income, DTI ratio, is a crucial financial metric that measures the relationship between your monthly debt payments and your gross monthly income. It's commonly used by lenders, creditors, and individuals to assess your ability to manage and repay debt. The DTI ratio provides insights into your financial health and helps determine whether you can comfortably take on additional debt or if your current debt load is too high. The formula to calculate the debt-to-income ratio is as follows. Debt-to-income ratio is calculated by dividing monthly debt payments by gross monthly income. Here's a breakdown of the key components and the significance of the debt-to-income ratio. Total monthly debt payments. This includes all of your monthly debt obligations, such as mortgage or rent payments, loan payments, auto loans, personal loans, student loans, minimum credit card payments, alimony or child support payments, other monthly debt obligations, gross monthly income. Gross income is your total income before any deductions. This includes salary or wages, bonuses or commissions, rental income, self-employment income, other sources of regular income. Interpretation of DTI ratio. Front-end DTI ratio. This considers only housing-related debt. It's calculated as front-end. DTI ratio is calculated by dividing monthly housing expense by gross monthly income. Lenders often use this ratio when evaluating mortgage applications. Back-end DTI ratio. This includes all debt payments, not just housing expenses. Is calculated by dividing monthly debt payments by gross monthly income. Lenders generally use this ratio to assess overall debt management. Significance of the DTI ratio. Low DTI ratio, generally below 36%. A low DTI ratio suggests that you have a relatively small amount of debt compared to your income. Lenders often view this favorably, as it indicates that you have more disposable income to manage debt responsibly. Moderate DTI ratio, between 36% and 50%. A moderated DTI ratio shows that a significant portion of your income goes towards debt payments. Lenders may still consider this acceptable, but it might limit your ability to take on additional debt. High DTI ratio, above 50%. A high DTI ratio indicates that a substantial portion of your income is allocated to debt payments. Lenders may see this as a sign of financial stress and be hesitant to lend you more money. Implications of the DTI ratio. Lending approval. Lenders use your DTI ratio to assess your credit worthiness. A lower DTI ratio increases your chances of getting approved for loans or credit at favorable terms. Loan rates and terms. A lower DTI ratio might lead to lower interest rates and more favorable loan terms. Conversely, a higher DTI ratio could result in higher rates or loan denials. Financial planning. Monitoring your DTI ratio helps you make informed decisions about taking on new debt. It also helps you identify opportunities to reduce debt and improve your financial health. Remember that while the DTI ratio is a valuable tool, it's just one aspect of your overall financial situation. It doesn't consider your credit score, savings, or other financial assets. A low DTI ratio alone doesn't guarantee financial success. And a high DTI ratio doesn't necessarily mean you're in financial trouble. It's important to use the DTI ratio as part of a comprehensive financial assessment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.